guys welcome back to my channel so today I have a very fun video to share as you can see from the title we are going to be talking about my used and abused makeup items so I was tagged for this video by uh, Drea CN you guys know I love her I talk about her all the time and I will link her channel down below but she had done this tag and tagged me and included me on it but the person who actually created this tag is named I think her name is Nicole Cutler, but again, I will link her channel down below. And I had watched Nicole's video first, and I saw that Drea commented on that video and was like, oh, I'm gonna do this. I'm like, yes, I wanna do it too. It just seemed like such a great idea and such a fun video. So thank you, Nicole, for creating this tag, and thank you, Drea, for uh, tagging me on your video as well. So when I saw this video, I was very impressed by Nicole's collection of products that she included included in hers and how much she had used up on these products that she included in her uh, used and abused tag. But if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know that I uh, rotate my makeup. So because of that, even though I have a very large collection, or I guess maybe because I have a, lot, a large collection, a lot of my makeup doesn't necessarily get used and abused because I am so regular, regularly rotating things around that nothing I don't like use something to death because I'm always changing up what I've got in my everyday makeup drawer and most items don't get that kind of like attention for a long time. So um, I was like, man, am I going to be able to find enough products from my collection to do this video? But I did come up with quite a few goodies, so we're gonna go through those. So as I mentioned, because I have a large collection and I am constantly rotating my products that I'm using on a regular basis, um, anything that is pretty used and abused, it means it's because I really love it, that it's getting that much use. And also it means that I've owned it for a long time and as well so it's made it through a lot of declutters than if I've owned it long enough to actually like really use and abuse a product so uh, we're gonna start with a few non makeup products and then we'll get into the actual makeup so first of all this little sponge is really dirty so please excuse how messy it is but this is my L'Oreal infallible sponge it's it's supposed to be kind of a pinkish purple but um, it's faded a lot so this is actually the second one of these that I've owned which is kind of ridiculous because I've only been using this sponge for like five months or something like that but I went through my first one so fast because I use it every single day and it's just the best sponge. I still do like beauty blenders, but there's something about this sponge that is just, in my opinion, better than a beauty blender. I feel like it just is softer and it does a better job of blending my makeup than a beauty blender does and they're cheaper, so why not? So this is definitely the first thing I had to mention in my used and abused because I'm, this is my second sponge and I'm already starting to see a couple little tiny baby holes in it and it just gets a lot of use. So um, yeah, I definitely had to bring this up in this video. Next for non-makeup, I do have a setting spray here. This is my MAC Fix Plus, you guys, I mean, if you watch YouTube videos, you've heard about this a million times. This one is basically empty. I might have like one spray left in there. Uh, but of course, I'm gonna save my empty container to back to Mac. But um, yeah, this is, there's something about this spray that is just really unique and really hard to find. You can use this in so many ways. You can use it to set your makeup. Well, not really set, it doesn't really set your makeup, but you can use it after you apply your makeup and spray it all over your face and it just kind of like, takes away any powderiness and just makes everything look blended and beautiful. Um, you can also use it to wet your brush when you're applying a shadow to intensify the shadow. There's just so many things you can do with this. You can use it to hydrate your skin uh, without makeup on or with makeup on. Just, it's very versatile and very unique. So this is definitely used and abused. This is probably, I don't know, my second or third container that I'm basically out of. I did have one other spray to mention, and this is from Caudalie. Um, This is a very unique spray. I only have the travel size, but as you guys can see, I'm basically halfway through this already, and I have not even owned this that long, so I would definitely say this is getting used and abused. Um, this is an elixir. It's a beauty elixir for so smoothing and glowing complexion. Um, this is very, very hydrating. It is basically grape water, but it is infused with essential, essential oils, and that is what kind of sits on top. That film on top is the those essential oils, which are really, really good for your skin. I love spraying this on cl cleansed skin. So never over makeup, but I do apply it all the time um, when I have a fresh face or on the days where I'm doing no makeup. It's just very hydrating and soothing, and I just really like it. I like the way it smells. 
Um, you can apply it over makeup. I just don't use it that way because my skin is a little more oily, but I really like it and definitely using and abusing that guy. Okay, another kind of non-makeup item is this fragrance actually from uh, Calvin Klein. This is the Euphoria perfume. I've owned this perfume for so long. Not this particular bottle, but the perfume itself. I've been wearing this since, oh gosh, since Aubrey was little, so probably like 10 years. Um, now, it's not the only thing I wear anymore because I actually have a very large fragrance collection now, but back when I first started wearing this, this was the only thing I owned and I wore it every single day. So it's got a lot of nostalgia for me because it just reminds me of when Aubrey was little and even when Kira was little, I was wearing it a lot. So um, yeah, there's a lot of nostalgia with this perfume, but I've owned this bottle for a couple years now, so I really do actually need to use this up. But this is probably like my fourth bottle of this and as you can see it's probably about half about half full so I am trying to actually use up this particular container so that I can get rid of it before it starts to go bad but it still smells amazing if you've never smelt euphoria this is kind of a classic scent now at this point um, if you've never smelt it it is a little bit musky but a little bit sweet at the same time. It's just a really nice, well-rounded fragrance in my opinion, but I am a little biased because I've been wearing it a long time, but I really do love this fragrance a lot. So only one more non-makeup item and then we're gonna get into the makeup items. So this is a brush and um, as you can see, it's broken, <laughs> but I haven't decluttered it, which is weird. Usually I declutter things that are broken. Um, this brush is actually a very cheap brush. I bought this from the Wish app and it actually came as a whole set. And I feel like the set was like $3 and it came with like eight brushes. I decluttered all of them but this brush and all the other brushes were losing bristles and they were really, um, really scratchy and hard and they all broke like this with the handles. So they were cheap, cheap brushes. But for some reason, this one brush of the whole set is really good. It's very soft. The, I haven't lost any bris bristles from this brush at all, and even though the handle broke, I still use it. I just use it without the handle. I know that's a little ghetto, but this is the used and abused tag, so you can't judge me on this tag. Um, but yeah, I still use it because it is the perfect brush for applying a cream blush. So I have that Revlon cream blush that's part of my makeup use up project for this year, which I'll link my most recent update above for you guys. Um, but this is the brush I like to use to apply it because it just applies the perfect amount. And there's something just really good about this brush. It's yeah, it's unfortunate that they don't sell it by itself, but I think I'm just going to super glue this handle back in because I really love this brush and I'm not ready to get rid of it, even though it's broken. Okay, now let's get into the fun stuff, the makeup. So I only have one eyeshadow palette to talk about, and I think, again, it's just because I'm so good at rotating my makeup, it kind of makes me want to like focus in on a palette and see if I can start hitting pan on some of my palettes because this is the only eyeshadow palette that I've hit pan on. So that tells you how much I love this. This is the Lorac Pro Original uh, palette and I have hit pan on two shades but I'm very close on many other shades in this palette. So, so this is what the inside of my palette looks like. As you can see I've hit pan on both of these but I've got a really good dip going in some of these other shades as well. So I mean I feel like I'm close to hitting pan on quite a few other shades as well. But this is definitely my most well-loved palette. It's very dirty and very very beat up, but that's just because I use it so much and I do love this palette. It is my go-to palette when I travel. I bring this with me anytime I travel because it's so sleek and thin. It doesn't take up very much space. It's sturdy, so I know it's not going to get broken and um, you get so many really usable shades in here. I can come up with so many different looks from just this palette. So a lot of times this is the only eyeshadow I bring with me when I travel. So that is part of why it gets so much love. Oh, and this little shade here, I did accidentally stick my fingernail in that. So that's why there's a big chunk missing from that guy. Um, but yeah, I really just love this palette. It's such a great versatile palette. So I definitely recommend trying it if you haven't. It's gorgeous. All right, next I have actually a blush and a bronzer to talk about. The I'm going to talk about them together because they're little twinsies. These are from The Balm. I have Hot Mama and I have Bahama Mama. These were some of my first like high-end face products that I purchased and I got them both from Hot Look and they are both pretty beat up. Now, you guys are going to laugh a little bit when I tell you why they're so beat up. I do use them a lot and I've owned them for quite a few years, which is part of the reason they're so beat up. But also, uh, Lexi, my youngest daughter, loves pretending these are phones. So she often takes off with them and she likes to swatch them. So I don't mind it because I feel like it's just makeup, but I still kind of steal them back from her because I love them. Um, but she likes to pretend they're little phones. 
It's cute. She's done that since she was little with these guys. Um, that's what these look like. They are pretty beat up. The packaging is a little beat up on both of them. And the shades inside have seen quite a lot of love. This one is a very good dupe for NARS Orgasm. If you guys have never tried it, it is, is very similar to NARS Orgasm. It's a really pretty peachy pink with a lot of shimmer in it. Very stunning product. And then the Bahama Mama is a little dark for my skin tone, but I still like it in the summertime. Um, it is a darker kind of... Uh, cool toned matte bronzer, um, but it is still a really, really good bronzer. I really do like it a lot. I need to bust that guy out because yeah. Anyway, so both of those are pretty, pretty used and abused. Hey, I have a couple face powders. I feel like my used and abused is going to be, you guys are going to be like, um, you hardly use your makeup, please. <laughs> I use makeup every day. I just have so much of it. But, um, next is a powder from Makeup Forever. This is something I feel like powders in general, I do tend to go through quicker, um, because I use so much powder and I often will like touch up throughout the day with powder. Um, but this is my Makeup Forever Duo Matte Powder. I recently hit pan on this and I'm going through it so fast, you guys, especially this time time of year I get more oily and I like using powder to kind of touch up my oiliness um, and this mattifying powder is one of my favorites for the summer but but yeah that's definitely getting some use that is definitely used and abused as well the other powder I wanted to mention is from pure cosmetics this is the four-in-one pressed mineral mineral makeup now I haven't hit pan on this but it is so dirty <laughs> The part of the reason it gets so dirty is because of the packaging. The pan is so small and then you have this really thick rim all the way around it. So whenever you dip your powder brush, let me grab one for example. Whenever you dip your powder brush, it kind of just gets everywhere, especially kind of when you swirl it in there to get the powder up. But also, I love this powder, so I use it a ton. Um, and it's honestly, I'm so surprised that it doesn't look more used and abused because I do use this all of the time. Um, but it's so hardly pressed, you get a lot of powder in there. So you don't you don't go it through too quickly, which is nice. Um, but this definitely is used and abused as well. Okay, I actually have one foundation to talk about. This is my Lancome Tante Idol Stick. It's actually funny how used and abused this is because I haven't owned this one very long. This is probably my third one. I do already have a backup of it, but as you can see, the Lancome um, part right here is already worn away. The sticker's like peeling up and this is all that's left of this foundation that's rolled up all the way so it is almost gone as well and as I mentioned this is like my third tube I think of this I just go through this so fast and this also is the only foundation that I travel with so anytime I'm traveling especially if I'm traveling by airplane this is the only foundation I bring for several reasons number one it doesn't take up very much space also, it is not liquid, so I don't have to put it in my liquids bag, which I already, my, I'm so high maintenance, my liquids bag is always so packed full. Anything I can save room on in that bag is definitely a plus, so I like the fact that it's a stick, so I don't have to put it in there. And then also, the other reason I like traveling with it is because it's a foolproof foundation for me. I know it will look good no matter what. It always looks beautiful on my skin um, it wears nicely for the full day so I can apply it early in the morning and have a full day of fun and not have to worry about my makeup looking weird throughout the day so that is why I travel with this and it's definitely used and abused I love this foundation okay I also have a couple primers to mention really quick this one from Becca the Becca backlight primer you guys hear me talk about it all the time I love this primer this has been living in my everyday makeup drawer for some time I am almost out of this one as you can see it is almost gone in there um, but I already have a backup of this little guy as well and um, this is definitely used and abused I use this a lot and you can see that <laughs> it's almost gone the other primer that is quite used and abused is this little Stila uh, one-step primer this is the travel size version but as you guys can see it is almost gone and this is another product I just haven't owned that long but I use it so consistently it is almost gone already um, it's a it's got the color correcting swirl in there it's hard to see now because I only have like that much left but um, the color correcting swirl so when you apply this it just gives you a nice it kind of evens out your skin tone before you even go in with your foundation and I just really like the texture of it and the way that it wears and the way that it extends my makeup so I definitely love this and I definitely use and abuse that guy as well all right I have a couple I like single eyeshadows to talk about this Mac paint pot in painterly is very much used and abused as you guys can see um, it's dug pretty far down in there I actually need to get busy on using this up before it's totally dried out on me but I have a couple lid primer or I have a lid primer in my um, 
makeup use up that I'm trying to use up first, but this has definitely been pretty much used and abused. Um, it's just a really good lid primer. It cancels out any color if you have discoloration on your lid, and I just really like it, and I definitely, definitely use and abuse that guy. And then the other um, single eyeshadow I have to talk, is from, talk about is from Bodyography. This is another thing you guys have heard me talk to death about. I love this. This is the, they call these glitter pigments, and I have the shade Sparkler to show you guys. I actually own all the shades, but this is the one that I use the most. Um, it's the first one I got, and I I use it all the time. I love just popping this on the center of my eyelid um, just to create a little drama to a look, but it's just... The thing about the formula on this is that there's never fallout with it, which I love, and it just goes on almost like a cream, even though it's a powder. Um, it's very interesting formula, and it's very easy to use, and it's not messy, so that's why I like this. I actually prefer these over those Stilo ones that everybody is raving about the magnificent metals. I feel like these actually apply better than those and I never hear anyone talk about them, but I definitely use and abuse this guy. All right, just a couple more products to talk about. Next, I have an eyeliner and this is another thing. Please don't judge me about how dirty this is. This is from Almay. This is the Intense Eye Color. I don't even know if they make these anymore. I feel like this is so old. It's broken on one side, like the end cap right here is broken and it's so worn away, it's hard to even tell what it says on there anymore. Um, and I've definitely used this to death, but I love the color of it so much. I don't want to get rid of it. It's a really beautiful um, bronzy shade with just a beautiful amount of shimmer in there. It's so creamy. It's just a retractable pencil, which I prefer those. Um, so yeah, I've had this way too long probably, but I still am going to keep it because I love it and I do use it. So... Yeah, that's definitely, definitely used and abused. And then the last couple things I have to talk about are lip products. The first one is this cute little mini from Kat Von D. This is in the shade Celebritard, which I think she renamed it, but I don't know what the new name is. It's just a really good nude matte. It's so, such a beautiful wearable color and the packaging is so darn cute. So that's why I've used it so much, but look how much is left. There's hardly anything left in there. I kind of don't want to use it up because I love it so much, but I, I know that I need to because it is getting older. But it's just a really beautiful lipstick, so that guy is definitely used and abused. And then the last thing is another lipstick. This one is from MAC. This is in the shade Snob. This shade was kind of like my ride or die shade for a long time, and I've used a lot of this lipstick. It's just a really pretty, um, kind of a blue-toned pink. It almost ends up looking really purple on my skin for some reason. Um, I know a lot of other people, it just looks like a mid-tone pink, but on me, it almost looks kind of purpley. But I just love this shade. I feel like it's such a unique shade. Um, I like the formula of MAC lipsticks. They're pretty long-wearing. They're very comfortable to wear. Um, they smell like vanilla, so you can't go wrong with that. But this was like my go-to shade for such a long time. I still do wear it from time to time. It's my husband's favorite lipstick, so he loves when I wear this. So anytime we're going like on just a, like a romantic trip, just the two of us, I always bring this lipstick because it's his favorite. Um, but yeah, I, I just really like that shade. I think it's a classic shade for, especially if you have blonde hair and blue eyes, I feel like pink is always a good shade. It's very complimentary, but, um, but yeah, those are all the products I had to share with you guys today in this used and abused tag. Doing this tag kind of made me feel like I need to do another project pan. Although I did want to mention, um, I didn't include any of my makeup products from my makeup use up, even though those are looking very used and abused because... I'm kind of focusing in on those products for that project, but all of those products are looking pretty used and abused. If you want to see how those are looking, I did, did just do a recent update on those, so I'll link that above for you as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have a channel and you want to do this tag as well, I think that'd be really fun. So I'm basically tagging everybody. I would love to see more people do this. I think it's such a great idea, a very fun video. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.